Sunday roast. You keep your head down as you step out of the car into the rain and race towards the soft orange glow behind the pub's doors. You hold the doors open so that others can head into the warmth first and you're rewarded with the sharp rain piercing your neck as bitter thanks. Once you're through the doors, the annoyance at the harsh weather fades at once. Your table's to the right of the bar and the way to it is filled with chatter and smiles with worn floorboards underfoot. As you duck under the beams, the roaring fire near your table blooms into view and you can feel its warmth even from a distance. You join your friends already at the table unwrapping scarves and peeling off gloves to get comfy and you're thankful you're now inside too. How are we all? Great, wet. Drying off, they know, this weather, how typical. When the waiter arrives with drinks, everyone orders the roast. It is Sunday, after all. The fire warms your skin and the mild wine warms your soul. The heat of both encouraging you all to talk, joke and laugh. You don't see each other enough. No one ever does. You all promise that next time you won't leave it so long as you always do. But this time, you really mean it. The drive out here was long but beautiful, over rolling hills, across the downs with accidental detours down the odd lonely farm track. But you made it, and you ask if they're glad they moved out. They say they are wholeheartedly, even if the commute to the office is longer. The weekends out here, afternoons like this one, are so worth it. The mulled wine goes down smooth and warm and refills as if by magic. The kids sip at hot chocolates by the fire and in between giggles and taunting pokes a drawing on scraps of paper. There's no phone signal here. And so there you all are, warming your hands and your feet laughing, talking, joking, recollecting the good memories. Plates of roasted meat, crispy golden potatoes, rich gravy, creamy cauliflower cheese and fresh hot vegetables bring the children running back to the table. A friendly steam glazes over the small leaded window, concealing the cold wet world outside in a white blur. You all laugh at a bad joke, and you feel like the pub laughs with you. At least you notice the landlord smiling. One of the kids asks what's so funny from across the table, but you've all moved on and the gentle buzz of conversation all around you murmurs through the vaulty pub. Couples, families and friends all catching up, enjoying the warmth and chatting about whatever it is that other people talk about. There's nowhere you would rather be.